Hello everyone, and welcome to the channel. The first beta of OpenSUSE Leap 16 has just been released. This distribution is set to become one of the most significant releases in OpenSUSE's history, and likely one of the most important new Linux developments of 2025. Yet, OpenSUSE continues to be overshadowed by the Linux mainstream, despite being a solid, reliable, and well-structured operating system. Unlike Fedora, which enjoys high visibility thanks to its close ties with Red Hat, OpenSUSE has never had a truly synergistic relationship with SUSE, the company behind it. SUSE has passed through the hands of Novell, Attachmate, Microfocus, and is now owned by a German investment fund. Still, the gap between the enterprise side and the open source community remains wide. There's even talk within the community of a potential name and logo change pushed by the commercial entity. Back to Leap 16, this is a landmark release. The most notable change is the removal of YAST, the powerful, modular, professional tool that has defined SUSE and OpenSUSE for decades. In its place, the system is being split into two parts, Merlin, a new package manager, and Cockpit, a lightweight modern system management interface designed to be simpler and more user-friendly. Another major improvement is the new installer, which features a much cleaner design and a more intuitive experience. It's part of a broader effort to make OpenSUSE more accessible to all users, including those without deep technical knowledge. OpenSUSE 16 will be available in three variants. Leap, the stable, traditional release. Tumbleweed, the fully rolling release. Slow Roll, a new experimental semi-rolling option with slower updates. With its strong reputation, dedicated community, serious development work, in bold changes, OpenSUSE Leap 16 has all the potential to shine. We'll see if this release can finally make OpenSUSE the ultimate distro for KDE 6, a desktop environment that has always been a perfect match for this project. Thank you for watching.